Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. So not too long ago I did a wish haul and you guys loved it so much and it was actually my most viewed video of all time. So I of course had to make a part two but after part one there was no way I was going to be spending more money on wish clothes because spoiler alert if you haven't seen that haul a majority of the clothes were horrible and I had to throw away. So I got to thinking what else could I buy from wish and that is when I thought high heels. Now I really love high heels, I have a big collection up in my wardrobe and so if I could get high heels on Wish for cheap that would just be perfect. So strap yourselves in because I have bought four different pairs of heels that I am going to try on review and I'm hoping that they look good. Also you may have noticed that I've changed this shopping series from a very extra haul to a very glam haul mainly because I think my style has kind of changed. I used to be very extra but now I'm kind of more like glamorous and fancy I guess I'd describe my style as and less extra so I just thought it fitted me better. Okay and without further ado let's open the heels. Okay so the first one to arrive in the mail were the ones that I was the most excited for and praying that looked good and that is this package right here. So let's open it. I'm actually a little nervous for this one because I really want these to look good because the picture of them was just gorgeous. So I'm really, really hoping that it's the same. Oh my God. <laughs> it is the same color as in the picture. I mean... Um, Okay, so it came in this weird like plastic packaging thing, but honestly, it's come a long way, so it makes sense to me that they need to package it differently. But here are the heels. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh. Um, all right. Okay, that's disappointing. Okay, I'll explain why I'm disappointed in a second, but firstly, here are the pink Heels. Now when I saw these, I instantly thought of like Elle Woods from Legally Blonde, Malibu Barbie kind of vibes, which I freaking love. So I thought that these were gorgeous and I had to have them. But the reason I was disappointed is I didn't realize they had red bottoms. I don't really like that because that looks to me as if I'm trying to pretend that my Wish shoes were Louboutins. And yeah, so that's a bit annoying. But I mean... The rest of the shoe seems pretty fine. So these shoes look pretty good. They absolutely stink. They smell of, hmm, like old plastic, which I guess if they have been sitting or waiting to be sold for quite some time, they would do. The only other complaint I have about these shoes is that there's like a glue mark right here. There you go, there's a bit of a glue mark there, so that's annoying. But overall, pretty damn good. Okay, so these heels cost $21. And I was looking at them thinking that they looked a little bit different to the photo. And they definitely do. And that is because the heel is smaller than what I ordered. It's meant to be 12 centimeters. And it's it's definitely not 12 centimeters. Thank God. I don't think I needed 12 centimeters. But it's just something to be aware of that that is definitely not the heel height. I'm really happy with these shoes and the color. So I just hope they fit me well and aren't too painful to walk in. Because I'm pretty sure none of these shoes are going to be extremely comfortable since they were so cheap. I mean, that's just what you get when you're paying like 20 bucks for heels. But let's go try these bad boys on. Okay, you guys. So these are what they look like on and honestly I love how they look now they are slightly a little bit big just to the side here as you can see but I do I guess have narrow feet but the only thing is as you can kind of see there like it's an awkward shape where it kind of points out but they look gorgeous sadly though they are not the most comfortable heels in the world which makes me so upset but apart from that I love these shoes. Look at how gorgeous they look. Literally just like Barbie, Elle Woods kind of vibes. And I am obsessed. But the reason these shoes are so uncomfortable is that in here, you can kind of see they've put lining. I guess the intention was for support, but that is right under my heel and runs down the middle of my foot. If it had been put down the side here, I think it really would have helped, but right down the middle makes it feel painful and so uncomfortable to walk in because I'm obviously not used to having that there. 
But apart from that, I love these shoes so much. The next heels I'm going to open is this big package right here. I don't know which out of the four these are because the description for the like customs to Clarence thing just says heels. So it's going to be just as much of a surprise for you as it is for me. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, yes. The, these were the other ones that I was really excited for. These are so glam and girly. Alright, again it came in this like, I don't know what you call it, like a plastic bubble pouch? I don't know, it came in this again, must be to protect them. Okay, so these are the next pair of shoes that I ordered and I am beyond impressed. Okay, so these heels were $23 and I just went on the website of Wish to see and they're now actually $14, which is crazy. So these are just straight up gorgeous. They have this heel at the back covered in rhinestones, which this was the one where I really thought Wish was going to do me wrong. I thought these were going to be like sequins or something, but these appear to be genuine rhinestones and it looks really good. Like this is just truly the ultimate glam shoe. I am obsessed. Okay, so here are the second pair of heels, and they look just as gorgeous on as they did off. They also fit perfectly, which I love. That is honestly so gorgeous, and I'm so happy with these. The only thing is that this bottom part right here feels a little bit flimsy, kind of like it might snap off, but maybe that's just me being paranoid, I don't know. But I love these shoes so, so so much. These are definitely no fault in them, except for that being a little bit weak, but again, I think that might just be me overthinking it. I think the shoes themselves are gorgeous. Okay, so I was just raving about how much I love these shoes and how nothing can go wrong. Literally, as I took them off, something went wrong. I took them off and I didn't even really touch it, but the little like aglet thing on the end of these shoes fell off and went flying across my room. So it's clearly not been glued on properly, which sucks because I haven't even worn them yet and it's falling apart. So that kind of sucks. I guess I can just easily glue it back on myself, but brand new shoes, I shouldn't really have to be gluing it back together. They should already come like that. So just something to be aware of. Okay, so this is the third pair of heels that I ordered from Wish and I am really hoping that these are good because you guys, we're on a roll. We're really on a roll right now. Two out of two have been great. Oh no. <laughs> Why is it always as I say that I jinx myself? What are these? Um. <laughs> So this is just straight up not the shoe I ordered, uh, I don't know what else to say. I'll obviously insert a photo of the shoe that I did order and you know this this just isn't it, it's not it, definitely doesn't have snake skin on the back, definitely isn't a tiny little kitten heel, definitely this was all meant to be lace not the, what is happening? <laughs> we were on such a good roll. I. What? 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 I am in shock. This is straight up just not the shoes that I ordered. This is literally an entirely different pair of heels and they are definitely not my style. These look like they were cute in maybe 2005, you know, maybe, possibly. Oh my gosh. Okay, I paid $23 for the pair of heels on the screen and this is what I received. Not impressed. These are absolutely hideous. I'm not gonna wear them except to try them on to see how they are, but that is so disappointing. Wish was doing so well. I was about to be their supporter again, but that's just not the shoe that I ordered. So, yeah. Okay, so here are the ugly shoes that I didn't even buy. So, although I hate them so much because um, not what I ordered, I'm gonna do a review on the shoes as if that they, as if I did like them. And to be honest, these ones right here are the most comfortable shoes out of the entire lot. And I'd say that's because it has the tiniest heel, just a little baby kitten heel right there. But pretty comfortable. That's about all I can say because I hate how they look. 
they're not what I ordered and I just do not like them. I'm just not a fan. It's not my style. If you like these kind of shoes, that is great. Like, but it's just, I think I'm more annoyed at the fact that it's literally not the shoe that I ordered. So... Let's take these off. They're making me annoyed. <laughs> okay, so this is the very last pair of heels that I ordered. Hopefully, it can redeem my opinion on a wish after these monstrosities. But these heels took the longest to arrive. These took over a month, which was stressing me out because I had this video planned and I thought that these weren't going to be featured. But they arrived, and I'm hoping they are good because if I get sent the wrong shoe again, I will be very frustrated. <laughs> All right, so let's open these up. So, Wish may have redeemed themselves. These are the shoes that just came from Wish and they are beautiful. Look at those, oh my gosh. These, these right here are princess shoes. These are the kind of shoes that princesses wear to their balls. This is phenomenal, wow. I am in love with this. This shoe is worth the weight of the month and all the stress that it caught me. This shoe makes up for this shoe. This shoe can save lives. It is that gorgeous. I think this is absolutely beautiful. Wow. The only critique I have is that glitter is already starting to fall off on my hands. But even like the um, like more expensive shoes with glitter, glitter falls off anyway. It just happens. Glitter falls off. It's a way of life. These are my favorite out of the lot, 100%. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to try these on. Oh my God, you guys. These shoes, these princess shoes are everything. They are so gorgeous that I, I'm just in shock at how good these shoes are. Now they do run a little bit small, I really had to shove my foot in there to wear them. But I mean, I was going to make it happen, they're so gorgeous, how could you not? So these are them. Again, the glitter is coming off and the annoying part is when I walk, if my feet stuck together, I know that glitter is just going to come off. But apart from that, so gorgeous. Not the most comfortable shoes in the world because of the gigantic stiletto right here. But, I mean, that's not really the shoe's fault. That's just more the style. And that is my review on all of these Wish heels. Now, all of them except the princess heels seem to have a few problems with them. But none of them were major except for, of course, the shoe that I literally didn't order and got sent, which I despise. But the rest of them were all pretty good with only minor issues. Compared to my last wish haul, I would say that this is a win. Especially with these that, if you haven't gathered right now, I am obsessed with and I'm going to be wearing all the time. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload a new video every single week. And if you want to see more of my face or the photo of these heels in action, then be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. My links are down below and on the screen right now. And if you guys have any other sh places that you want to see me do heel hauls from, or if you want to see more wish hauls, let me know it down in the comment section below. And that is it from today. Goodbye from me and my heels, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!